Hey guys, it's BossTech7 here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a review and demonstration of the brand new iBooks 2 on the iPad 2. Basically, as most of you probably already know if you're watching this video, Apple did hold a meeting with the press in New York City, New York a couple days back. And, ba and what they basically released there, they released the brand new iBooks 2, which is a new section in the iBook store which offers the brand new textbook section where you can have all your textbooks on the iPad in iBooks and also they released for free iBooks author which is a way to create those textbooks on the Mac it's a free application and um, I will actually be bringing you a review of that too in a different video um, so you can stay tuned for that but basically what we're going to be doing here is just taking a look at the brand new iBooks so to access these new textbooks you can go to the iBooks store right inside the iBooks application. You see in the featured tab they have a direct link to them. Also they do have a link now in the categories for textbooks. In here you do see uh, they have a whole bunch of different ones. Some big name textbooks, pe textbook authors and publishers have already been in with Apple trying to get some textbooks in here from the get-go. We have Hale McGraw, uh, I'm not sure if I said that right, what was their name again? Yeah we have uh, McGraw Hill actually, McGraw Hill and Pearson. Also, we do have E.O. Wilson and their um, E.O. Wilson Biodiversity Foundation working on making a brand new biology textbook that reinvents the way we teach biology today. That is the one I personally downloaded just because it was free. Um, but all the other textbooks in here, as you see, they're going to be no more than $15, which is a phenomenal rate for the textbooks. Some benefits of having them on here is going to be, one, they're constantly updatable to the student, and uh, two, they are easy to access, a lot lighter than carrying around those 50 pound textbooks. Personally, I was just in high school last year myself, um, and this really carrying around an iPad compared to five textbooks each way and like 10 pounds each is so much better, so much um, better for your back, better for your joints, and just so much more enjoyable than having to carry around all the stupid textbooks, which just, it makes you hate them even more. So let's go back to the library where I've downloaded that one textbook. So basically when you enter the textbook, as you see right here, it will load it up just like any normal iBook, and it'll open it up. When you first open up the textbook, it is going to go to the table of contents right here, uh, where it's going to show you the different chapters of the textbook. Right here you can g scroll through the different chapters, also you can scroll through the different pages on the bottom right here. It'll eventually take you to the next chapter if you go too far. When you actually first open up the book for the first time, but we'll take you to a nice intro this video. This is a century in which we've got to solve the great problems and make the great discoveries concerning life on this planet. And that's that's just phenomenal. I, I, it, I love it every time I watch it. Let's open this up. So as you can see, scrolling through here, there's some amazing, breathtaking graphics inside of these textbooks that you can have in here. You can have videos. We want to show you biology just like this great system I'm standing they'll go in completely in depth into what the page is talking about at the point um, at this point in the page um, just tells you a little bit more about the what the content of the book is trying to say and just helps explain it to the child a little bit better also you can zoom in on any picture in here you can even add some 3d graphical type experiences in here where will just have some awesome 3d graphics you see you have Right here, you just have a complete layout that just is going to better explain the material that you're trying to teach to them at the moment. Also, you see in this page, you even have a 3D rotating um, piece of DNA, I believe this is, right here, um, where you can open it up, view it a little bit bigger, rotate it there, go back. It's all just so snappy, so fast. They really couldn't have done a better job on this. Go back to the page. Um. Also, as you see right here, I have made a highlight of the text. Basically, to do that, you just hold down, you can highlight it just right there, make a highlight of the text, make it whichever color you so desire, um, and also, by the highlight of the text, you can make a note, too, which you can't do this really at all in those textbooks that they weren't you at school. You're not allowed to write in them, you're not allowed to do anything that's going to come to your advantage at the time the test comes. So basically, say, um, on test for this, or make that note right beside there. I'll give you another note I've made, biology test, right in here. Keep scrolling through the chapter, play a couple more videos. It's all going to be this, 
all going to just be this amazing experience that is really going to help the person understand what they're actually reading on the, on the book a lot better and just be so much more enjoyable because no one likes reading those old textbooks on on the in those awful books. You see right here we even have a changing landscape. Also if you tap the sheet it will give you a couple options in here. Of course you have the normal brightness, bookmark, you can bookmark the page, search a keyword in the textbook. Also you can't access the glossary or the table of contents at any time. View those glossary terms. If you go back to the book, also this new brand new tab right here is the study tab. So you saw those notes that I was making in the chapter just a second ago. In here you can see all the brand new notes you've made, all the notes you've made into the book. And uh, the benefit of this is you can just see them all right in one place. Also you can automatically make yourself some amazing study cards. Which is so much better than having to write them down yourself, trust me. For making study cards, personally I hate doing that, some people like it, but it's just awful. Who I don't I don't know who likes actually likes writing down all everything on a little card. So this will do it for you. Also, um, you can just study them right here. It automatically puts all the terms in here for you to study, so you know those. But also, it will throw in all those notes you made. So you see, you can flip it around with one tap on test. Study this. Throw it to the back of the pile. Nucleus. Throw that around the back. Pipette. See what that is. You can also throw them from the back back to the front. It's just so fast. It's really fun actually just to go through and pop through all these cards and it just makes studying a lot better and actually enjoyable to do. So going back to the book, that is pretty much it for the iTextbooks. Alright guys, that has been my demonstration of the brand new iBooks 2. Like I said, wait, I'll be bringing you my iBooks author review in a couple days, probably in the next day, day and a half. Uh, so you can check that out and also just go go hit up my channel, check out a couple of, a couple of my other videos. Um, and I'll, I guess I'll just catch you guys later. See ya.